Shot clock getting low, but Harris in a little bit of trouble. Got out of it, found an outlet in Brown. Amy Hayford will take the shot around and in. That's a lot of size and really good skill for Miami on the inside. Tendande going to work that's, with the left hand. That's what I'm talking about right there. Good one-on-one -on -one move. Nice speed from the high post. Well, I don't want to be driving in my car and watching it on the app, right? I mean, you're suggesting that because I got to hurry up and get to where I need to be so I can watch it. Takeaway and another bucket for my Kia Gray boy. She's been active since she's come on the floor. And Pitt's got to keep trying to put pressure on Miami to try to generate possessions and try to get some easy scoring off their D. But you've got to know where the three-point shooters are. You're just compounding your own issues. That's a tough two at the end of the shot clock. You've got to push. Miami showing you how it's done. They do push. A little hesitation. And that was just enough for Julia Williams. This time, the Panthers don't miss. It's King. Miami willing to get down the floor in a hurry, and Jaleah Williams rewarded for it. In their game against BC, according to Synergy, they played nine possessions of zone. So Lance White saves his zone to the second half as well, and it results in a stop and a three-point bucket. You talked about being good in situational offense, Debbie. And Bandu gets a couple of points off the inbounds there. Eighth straight win in the series for Miami over Pitt. And Katie Meyer's squad gets it done. Moved to eight and seven in conference play.